everyone, it's Julia and Joey. It's Julia and I'm Joey. Um, today is going to be, uh, we have a lot to do today. First, we're going to shovel the car out because the ice formed around and, and we can't move it. to do that with hammer. Well, you have to break the ice somehow. And then we're also taking down a Christmas tree, which is really sad. Julia, can we keep it up? No. Please? No. Come on, please. No. The Christmas was no. just like, it smells so good no. in the house though. No. She still says no. Anyway, uh, let's get the day going. <laughs> So we got really lucky. There's barely anything to get out. That's why we waited. Today's above freezing. It's actually 33 degrees. So everything's melting. And Julie's kicking snow on me. Don't kick snow on me. Our car is finally freed. Look, no one's no, we're good to go. One tip for New Yorkers, if alternative parking has been suspended, just leave your car, let everything else melt it for you, and then from there you're all set. And the best part is, is that parking is still suspended, even though, look, I can't throw snow at me. Girl across the street, cute girl across the street throwing snow at me, but it was you. But yeah, then you can leave your car there. Like right now, suspended parking is still in effect, so I don't have to move my car, which is great. And I got a clean spot. That's wonderful. Ah. So before we head home, we had to make a trip to the Polish store so that we can get a lot of Polish and Ukrainian sweets because Ukrainians love their sweets. This store has tons of European candies or Slavic candies that we don't have any around. So this is like a field trip for Julia. Look how much stuff she has already. <laughs> this is mine. I think it's isn't too much. Big, isn't that the biggest chocolate bar you've ever seen? I've seen a little bit bigger. Let's get out of here before Julia buys everything in the store. Ooh, Ooh, no, 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 so put good. it down, put it down, put it down. Yeah. Oh, keep going. No, register. Oh, no, put it. We don't need that. Julia, we don't need. Julia, we, we don't need. Julia, Julia, we don't need that. We don't need that. Put it down. We, we don't need it. In case you guys want some fish in cans or in jars, I'm sorry, in jars. This Polish store has tons of them. They look disgusting. I don't think we should ever go back to that store. I just spent we go there once spent sixteen dollars just on chocolate. I don't even eat that stuff. Yes, you do. I, I eat dark chocolate. So folks, it is a sad day or night because it's time to take down our Christmas tree. Just felt like yesterday we cut it down, brought it home, and made it our own. But now that the holidays are over, we have to get rid of it. And because Julia said so. So if you liked our Christmas tree and you want to keep it up, you yell at her because I want to keep it up. It smells so good. Yeah, I understand it fulfilled its Christmas destiny, as Julia put it, but I like it! Oh, no earrings. Oh, can you give me a matching one? No, no, I, I want one for the other side. We have all the balls off of the tree. Julie's taking the garland off. And uh, then it's lights, and then we gotta wrap this thing up. I just wanna show you how many needles are on the floor. It's insane. Yeah, it's about time we took it down. I mean, it's pretty much bare right now. When you touch it, 
the needles just fly off. So folks, go ahead and learn the lesson that Julie and I are learning right now. And that is, you should take down your tree when it's still alive. Because then you'll have a branch left over. Let me show you. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun to take outside. If there's anything to take out, because I'm pretty sure all the needles are gonna stay in the house. We'll be finding them for the next year. So we don't have a uh, string or tape to kind of get this together, so now I'm gonna cut up all the branches to get these in small pieces and the small bags to get it out of the house. So as I'm sawing away at the tree to get it, you know, ripped apart, Julia mentioned one really funny thing. She said, next year, we should get a smaller tree. Flashback, please. Are you lucky yet, Julia? Yes, I want that one, and he doesn't it's want too it. Big. <laughs> You're too big, Julia. It stands it's out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is how much I have done so far. Pretty much the bottom half of the tree is gone. So the tree's outside. This is the aftermath. This is all the needles, believe it or not. All the needles all in one bag. I want to see what the Christmas tree looks like because it looks really funny. So now it's time for cleanup. There's a lot of cleaning up to do between everything we got on the steps to the floors to we even got things on the windows. Yeah, it got on the windows, it got messy. So time to clean up. It's officially gone. The Christmas tree is outside. The room is put together. Most of the Christmas stuff is put away. We like leaving the lights up a little bit longer because we love the lights. But yeah, check it out now. It's weird without having a Christmas tree. If you get a chance, please go ahead, like, comment, and share. Most importantly, please subscribe to our channel. We have about 131, and we really appreciate that you, 131, are watching our videos, and it's our goal this year to make it to at least 1,000. So please go ahead, share this, tell your friends to like it and subscribe. We're just a crazy husband and wife, just having a good time. So please subscribe. See you later.